we're going to answer the internet's、mm-hmm. top questions about nuns or、mm-hmm. sisters.、Mm-hmm. It's really a privilege to speak on behalf of. Yeah, the sisters of the world. We'll do our best. Hi, my name is Sister Mary Grace, and I'm Sister Veritas, and we are the Sisters of Life. And this is Ascension Presents.、Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We need to find out what those questions are, hey? Yeah. Wow.、Oh, thanks. Good That's man. That's so nice of you. Okay.、Uh, you know, no, no, please after you. I'll touch it. <laughs> it doesn't seem to have any questions on here. Oh look! A question <clears throat> came. Do nuns or sisters have cell phones? Clearly not. We don't have our personal cell phones. We have landlines. Which is how would you explain a landline? It's connected to a wall. Yeah, phone connected to a wall. Helpful, reliable. Yeah, yeah. it's always there when you need it. You know where to go. Yeah, and we have like mission shared cell phones,、mm-hmm. but not personal ones.、Yeah. Some communities, some orders might have cell phones,、mm-hmm. but at least for us, we don't. Oh look, another question. Here we go. Wow, do sisters still exist? Hmm. It's a good question because I、yeah. remember growing up before I met a sister when I was eighteen.、Mm-hmm. I had no idea that they were still、mm-hmm. even around. I thought they were kind of like an extinct species or something, but yeah. Yeah. clearly not. No, still here. Why are sisters only female? Good、mm. question. Sister is、uh, in the person of the church in Latin,、mm. in persona ecclesiae, and so、um, all through. If you read all through Scripture, God talks about how He's like the bridegroom to Israel. He, it's like this love story between. Bridegroom and bride, and the church is the new Israel. And so, as sisters, we're like a an image of the church in persona ecclesiae.、Mm. And so,、um, in a way, yeah, we're brides of Christ. We're brides of of the heart of God. So、mm-hmm. that's why we're we're female.、Mm-hmm. And you can see on us too, like our habits have a bit of a blue tint on it. And really, because Mary is the model for religious life, and she's all woman in every single way. And、mm-hmm. yeah, we kind of just imitate her role and. Letting God into the world as women, which is such a gift and privilege.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's awesome. How do sisters get their names? Ooh, good question. That's another thing I didn't know until I entered the church. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we take new names when we enter, which is、uh, such a gift. And to be honest, you know, I didn't even have a thought of what name God was going to call me when I entered. But you know, when I entered the convent, God literally put a new name on my heart,、um, very simple and clearly, and and put the words Mary Grace one. After the gift of my own natural mother、um, and love for Blessed Mother,、um, and as simple as that, he just put this name on my heart, and I knew that he was calling me to、mm-hmm. that and、uh, to imitate Blessed Mother in a certain way. And、um, it's a mystery, but God literally gives it,、mm-hmm. which is totally true. Yeah, it's really special. It's, it really comes through prayer and then discernment.、Mm-hmm. You're talking with like Mother Superior, and、yeah. it's pretty. It's pretty awesome. Can sisters drive? Can sisters drive? Hmm. Hmm.、Mm-hmm. Yup. Sisters can drive.、Yep. That's correct. We drive a lot,、yep. definitely. I still haven't learned to stick shift, but hopefully yeah, one day. Yeah, yeah. But we love to drive. I、yeah. love to drive. It's really fun. And depending on your mission too, you might actually get around quite a lot.、Mm-hmm. So it's true. Yeah. This is a good question. This is a good clarification. Why are nuns called sisters? Nuns are actually refer to women who are、um, religious women who give their lives totally for the Lord, but they're cloistered. So they actually、mm-hmm. stay in a convent. And they basically spend their lives praying for the world, and so they're contemplative, they're cloistered. So they they're called nuns, and then、mm-hmm. women who, who are religious, who are like in the world helping people, are called sisters.、Mm-hmm. I don't know if there's a better. Yeah, no, yeah. totally. So you'd probably see more sisters、mm-hmm. in public,、mm-hmm. and then the nuns are kind of like, yeah, they're like the heartbeat of the church. They're yeah,、um, totally for you,、mm-hmm. and actually. Through a whole life of hidden prayer, they actually allow the heartbeat of the church to go out. We、mm-hmm. live both lives.、So、you have a contemplative and an apostolic life, which basically means lots of prayer and lots of gift of service,、mm-hmm. um, kind of together. So yeah, you said that very nice. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> We have another one. Two more. Oh, two at the same time. What do sisters eat, and what is your favorite food? Wow. Ah,、uh, I feel like my whole <laughs> my whole experience of food has changed since moving to the U.S. <laughs> We definitely eat. You'll be happy to know that we usually eat three meals a day, actually. And、mm-hmm. the gift of living in community is we usually eat those three meals together. Which, to be honest,、mm-hmm. when I entered, I thought that was a total waste of time.、Um, but now, after prayer, it's like the highlight of my day that I get to sit down with my sisters and、mm-hmm. um, share a meal and talk. And goodness, what's your favorite food? Do you have an answer to that one? I,、uh, you know, I love cereal. I just, <laughs> I also love ice cream. Yeah, that's real. <laughs> Just can't go wrong. Together you know? or no, not yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. I think we have a, another question. How do sisters make money?、Hmm. You know, it's really beautiful, and every order of sisters is different.、Um, but I would say, in a general sense, there's a kind of a history of religious life、mm-hmm. where we actually totally rely on God's providence、mm-hmm. and, like, literally, people donating to us, like money, food,、um, things we need. So <laughs> it's actually like totally radically relying. 
mm-hmm. on God's God's goodness and people's donations. So that's actually how we as Sisters yeah. of Life kind of um, live and have our yeah. our funding. Yeah, and it's so real too. Like actually to rely on God's providence. One, it's it it's vulnerable. It's risky. You know, you're mm-hmm. kind of like totally dependent on God, and yet it's also so surprising. Like literally, I mean, the goodness of the people here in Denver, even just yeah, coming over to bring a donation of food that literally becomes our breakfast the next morning or. Um, yeah, you see God more clearly in people when you have a space for people to provide mm-hmm. and actually need them, which is really, really beautiful. We have another one. Oh, this is so nice. Do you want me to ask it so you can answer it? <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. Sister, do sisters marry Jesus? <laughs> yes, we do. It's yeah. really true. There's a great story. I'll just share mm, it. It's please. so awesome. But one of our sisters was giving, um, having lunch with a bunch of first grade students and one of them asked her, like, what's that thing on your head? It was in the mm. Bronx. And um, the sister said, well, you know how at a wedding, a bride wears a veil. Mm-hmm. She said, well, I wear a veil because I'm a bride of Christ. I'm married to Jesus. <laughs> and in total shock, the little girl slammed her hands down on the table and was like, he chose you? <laughs> But it's true. It is. He did. Yeah. It's real. It's beautiful. It's amazing. And yeah, we as sisters, we wear rings too. Mm-hmm. Like not all sisters do, but really it's an it's an image of the true of every sister that we do get married. And I remember being in an airport once and one lady said to me, she's like, you know what, sister? I feel really bad for you. I wish you could get married. And I was like, you know what? Actually, I am. <laughs> and to be honest, this is sometimes the biggest shock when you hear about mm-hmm. um, sisters or meeting them mm-hmm. is that we're here because we're fallen in love with Jesus, mm-hmm. actually. And Jesus has called each one of us in a particular way mm-hmm. to belong totally to him. And he satisfies every element of the female heart and soul. Mm-hmm. And um, it's a promise that he makes and a promise that we experience that, yes, my desire for marriage is actually met in Jesus. And he fulfills it more than I could have ever imagined. So it's legit. Ooh. When do sisters retire? <clears throat> I love this question. I love telling my dad when I entered religious life that I retired at 23, so you should be a happy dad. <laughs> <laughs> when you enter religious life, you don't make any more money. You don't, yeah, you don't have a career to build other than you're called to love and give the entirety of your life. So in some ways we retire when we enter the convent. Mm-hmm. And it's really beautiful too. Like when sisters get older and like you can't mm-hmm. do what you normally would do, um, it's actually just, it's not a retirement. It's actually just like a deepening of their their prayer because yes. we don't you can't stop being a bride of Jesus. Mm-hmm. That's your identity. So it's really awesome. So it's yes. just like a deeper prayer and um yeah. yeah, a deeper kind of um apostolic mission in the sense of intercession. So mm-hmm. it's really cool. Yeah. And being a sister is not really about what we do, it's mm-hmm. actually who we are. Mm-hmm. And as individual sisters we're we're called to belong entirely to Jesus. Mm-hmm. And so we begin living the identity for which we've been created for. And that doesn't have a, an expiry date, actually, mm-hmm. that is going to be fulfilled in heaven. But we live it and actually only grow deeper and more fuller into it, mm-hmm. um, which is exciting. It just goes deeper. It's so true. Are sisters only Catholic? Ooh. Very good question. Mm. I'd say most sisters are Catholic. There are some like orth- Orthodox nuns, mm-hmm. so our, our Eastern brothers and sisters, that they have religious life in their tradition too. There's also Anglican, Mm -hmm. yeah, Anglican sisters. Why do sisters wear habits? Mm. Mm. It's really, I mean, it's such a privilege. It's this gift. There's multiple reasons, but one Mm. is like, this is my wedding dress. Mm -hmm. I can wear my wedding dress every day and be a sign that I'm I'm married to Jesus. Mm it's actually also a sign of poverty that yeah. these are my clothes. I don't go shopping. I don't go to Fifth Ave. Like I, this is actually what I wear. We actually make our habits, our mm-hmm. community, and so it's a sign of of real poverty um, mm-hmm. and and totally belonging to the Lord in every way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and too, I think even wearing our habits is it's a gift for us, but it also puts um, on display actually the call of every human heart. That actually, mm-hmm. when we go out in public, yes, it's an individual calling, but we're called mm-hmm. for every human person that when they look at us, please God, they're reminded of the truth that you are created for an intimate union with God. And this is not just reserved for religious, actually. This is this is literally the destiny of every human heart. God loves you so much that he wants to be wedded to your soul. For some of us, we live that now on earth, but mm-hmm. every single one of us, you, uh, and the person sitting next beside you, if there is someone beside you, <laughs> is actually called to a deep, intimate uh, communion with God mm-hmm. on this side of heaven and forever and eternity. So we were for ourselves, um, but for you too. Well, I think if you have any more questions, there's apparently a comment section <laughs> below the video. So feel free to write any extra questions in general about religious life, really, um, and follow up to this if there's some top questions that we haven't answered. And then if you actually want to know more specifically about our community, the Sisters of Life, we have a website you could check out. It's sistersoflife.org. And we hope to see you there. Or not see you there, but you can go there. Yeah, we'll be praying for you. Amen.